Hi guys, welcome to my 13 week pregnancy vlog. Um, I'm back in LA. I just got here about 40 minutes ago. So I just got off a flight and it was pretty hectic. Kids slept a little bit. I think we're all gonna jump back into bed together and try and get some more sleep. Um, I'll start off showing you my belly in the maternity jeans now. Woo woo! Ah yeah. Sexy look. Okay. There's my belly. It's very bright. Hang on, let's see if this helps. There we go. That's from the front. That's from the other side. Um, it's not as big as it usually is but that's because it's the morning. By the afternoon, it is like triple the size. Um, so we've had a pretty eventful week. I went to my midwife appointment just to sign up and get all the paperwork done and I had to uh, get some blood tests done. So they test for vitamin B, uh, like B12, all the vitamins um, and iron, because I thought I probably was iron deficient um, and all the tests came back great the one test that came back not so great was this one uh, where they test for antibodies so essentially it is they test to make sure that there's nothing in your system that can affect the baby in any way and so I test positive which means that my body has created these antibodies to defend against some foreign blood that I have in there. And they say that a lot of times I see it with women who had to have a blood transfusion in a previous pregnancy um, or maybe a miscarriage. They also see it sometimes um, with women who have had tattoos, um, piercings. I've had none of that stuff. So don't have one tattoo. Um, it's a little bit of a mystery, but they do say that sometimes it can just happen with subsequent pregnancies and it means that maybe a little bit of forest blood was left behind and my body created these antibodies to start attacking this foreign blood. And um, the risk is that your body can ultimately end up attacking the fetus um, or the baby. And um the particular strain that i have it's a very rare strain which is actually better they say that the rarer it is um the less aggressive it is i mean there are certain strains that are very aggressive and they say that there is a high probability that the baby can be born with anemia or jaundice um but in my case because it's extremely rare it's a little more on the mild side and this is what we've all been told so far and also what Mark and I have researched and we've spoken to a couple of different doctors about it so it does mean however that there's a lot more monitoring a lot more scans and you know I'm Mrs all natural I don't like having many scans in pregnancy I enjoy having as close to a natural pregnancy as possible, meaning just a very, very limited amount of scans. And so now I'm in this place where it, that means that we are gonna be getting checked a lot more regularly. Are we getting um, bloods drawn? This week I'm going into this amazing specialist in LA. And this is where I feel really grateful is I get to live in LA where the doctor who created the technology to test babies in the womb to see if they're anemic and see what their blood flow is like, that doctor is the doctor I'm going to in LA. So he created this technology and um, I actually went to see him previously. He does a lot of the morphology scans, so the 20 week scans. So I've been to the office for a 20 week scan, which is very lucky because otherwise they're flat out and I wasn't able to get in but I happen to be a previous patient. Also, he's the one that diagnosed the molar pregnancy. So he's a specialist um, and I feel like I'm gonna be in the best of hands. Initially, uh, Mark had a big freak out. He was like, this is very serious. Oh my gosh, if she gets 
anemic this is such a big problem and um and it's funny because we really don't know where this foreign blood comes from so mark actually has to be tested too and they say that if he tests positive for the same strain i have it is likely that it came from him but it is likely that the baby has the same sort of blood and it's very complicated to me still so i don't exactly know how it works but that is not the best outcome for her um and she could potentially be anemic but from what we've read and we read a lot of medical journals and there's only been one case where someone has the same extremely rare strand that i have uh and their baby has been anemic the good news is the worst case scenario is um, the babies have blood transfusions in utero. It doesn't sound like that is going to happen with us because it's a much more mild version. It's not one of the aggressive strains. So I am hopeful that this week when we go to see the doctor and Mark gets tested, hopefully he's going to be negative. Although I'm like, if you're positive, we are all going to know it came from the 58 tattoos you have on your body. Um, and he's been doing some like at home stick and poke ones with a few friends as well that I was like, oh God, if this came from you. Um, but anyway, it is, it is different for us. This has never happened before. I've never tested positive for an antibody. So um, we will see how it all goes and unfolds. But the greatest thing is, is I'm in the best of hands and I feel so lucky that that is our situation because I know it could go... A very different way and for many people they don't have the opportunity to go and meet with a specialist the way that I am able to and so quickly too so they got us in immediately at first they're like well we can't see you for five months and obviously I need to be tested to see the level it's called getting a titer done to see the level that um, these antibodies are at hopefully it's not a high amount um, but again we won't know until we get the blood test results back so um i'm just i'm feeling grateful i'm determined to just like get on top of it figure out a treatment plan see what we have to do i also i'm going to find out probably this week if this is going to affect my birth plan because obviously i want to still have a natural birth my water birth with the midwife in the birth center i had the dreamiest birth with forest and i'm really hopeful that i still will get to have the opportunity to birth in that way again but the most important thing is her being healthy. So if that means I have to fully change my birth plan, I'm birthing in America, I have to have a cesarean, she has to come early, I have to be induced, I am open to any of it. I just want her to be okay. So I'll keep you updated. All the rare things happened to me. The molar pregnancy was so rare. This is so rare. Don't know what's going on, but um, honestly, it could be worse. So um, that's that. I showed you my belly. Um, we just came back to LA. We're here for about seven weeks. And then, you know, it's really up in the air. Mark might get this show. So we may end up traveling to Canada and staying there for a few weeks. Otherwise, we're going to go to Byron Bay and have a little holiday with our friends, the Diagons. Head back to Australia for Christmas. Um, but every we're just open to whatever happens. And... Um, I'm still feeling really confident and good and excited about her and I feel like maybe I felt a teeny tiny little kick. I'm not sure. I didn't put it in my official write-up of this week because I don't know if it was it or not. But I felt two little flicks, like two little tiny flicks from the inside. So I'm not sure what that was, but I hope it was her. Um, and yeah, much more energy this week, not feeling fatigued. Uh really at the end of my first trimester i'm 13 weeks six days today um and i'll be announcing in a week so you guys are actually going to see this really soon i'll be when i announce i'll release my 14 week pregnancy video so um this will be one of the videos that are in the backlog of videos available to you and i hope you enjoy them and look over all of them and um I hope that they are helpful in some way. It's just nice to know you're not alone in this journey and navigating through all the weird things that your body goes through during pregnancy. Um, all right. Hey, thanks, guys. 
you're awesome. This is always an amazing sounding board. And I, of course, will keep you updated on everything going on with us. All right. Mwah. See you later.